Welcome to another quick video on firmware update for the Schneider Electric Connects Gateway. This is version 106, and in version 106, we've done a lot of work specifically for Hawaii. So in Hawaii, there's a lot of demand for solar and storage systems, and we needed to add a number of features to our portfolio to, to be able to sell into that market. And some of these, these features were very much gateway specific. So the first feature that, that we added was uh, support for zero cell which means that you can now use the gateway to curtail the cell feature on an XW Pro based on a power meter reading. So there are a number of power meters that, that we support with the Connects gateway for this application. And when the gateway is connected to these power meters and the Connects XW Pro, you can do the zero cell or grid cell limiting. The second feature that we've added to the Connects gateway, again to support Hawaii, is um, support for the HECO grid codes. So on the XW Pro, the Pro is certified to and supports the HECO grid codes, and the gateway allows you to configure the Pro um, and the, the different settings around the grid code that, that would be needed for the inverters to operate in that market. There have been a number of other releases on the version 106 firmware that also drastically improve the customer experience or your experience with the Connects gateway. And the first of these would be we've optimized or changed the way we structure our data packets that we send to Connects Insight 2 to reduce the amount of data or the bandwidth that they consume, meaning that your gateway uses less and less data over, or, over a month to month or a year to year basis, and it costs you less to keep your Connects Insight 2 site up to date. We've also gone in and made a number of improvements to our Modbus registers, just making it easier to interface both with the gateway and with um, the Zanbus devices connected downstream of the gateway over Modbus. The final improvement or major improvement that we've added to 106 is that we've made the wireless IP address configurable. So this means you can now configure your gateway's wireless IP address, which we could not or did not support in the past, and um, you can set it up within a, an IP address range that you know, meets or matches your network. And you can also make sure that you don't have an IP address on your gateway that conflicts with another device on, on your network. There are a number of other less major features that we've released in 106. These are all referenced or, or available or described in the release notes. And we welcome you to go and have a look at those and see what they are and reach out to us if you have any questions. We are working on 107, and in 107 we'll introduce a number of new features that will make the gateway even better. And we'll be releasing a video on 107 as soon as it's available. So please keep your eyes on our channel. Thank you for watching this video. We're working on a number of other videos, and if you'd like to stay up to date on what we're working on and, and get updates on our products as we release them, please subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd like to hear from you and know what you'd like to see on this channel. So if you are interested in a specific topic or, or want to learn more about something, drop us a comment or send us an email, and we would love to build content that is more meaningful and useful to you as our customers out there.